So yesterday I did a quick unboxing of the Ledger Nano S. Still have to test it actually, eh, I've not had time. But this is one of the most popular ways to store cryptocurrency. It's one of the most popular hardware wallets, uh, wallets out there. I'm going to be reviewing this and the Keep Key and the Trezor, which is coming soon. Um, one of the first comments to the unboxing was from Dominic and he says, well, I use BitLocker. Costs nothing, it's more secure. And what he's referring to is the, um, the encryption software that's available from Microsoft. So you can use, this is available in Windows Pro and you can simply you know, lock up your flash drive. And, you know, what he's saying is very, very true. Um, you can just save your wallet files and you can just save your, your key phrase, your pass, your pass keys in a flash drive. Uh, and what I want to do in this video is just talk briefly about two different options that are available, uh, available to you for doing that. Um, one is Tails. Um, Tails is a kind of Linux operating system. That's what I've got uh, in here. And this one, this one here, um, this has actually got BitLocker. This is protected with BitLocker. Um, so both of these are doing the same thing. They're storing wallet files. They're storing, um, you know, passphrases and keys and things like that that I need to access wallets. It's basically where I, uh, I'm storing a lot of funds. Now, I did this before I got the Nano and I've got more hardware wallets out there, but... I'm going to review the Ledger, I'm going to re review the Trezor and the Keep Key and any other hardware wallets that come out there. But I'm not going to forget that one of the best uh, solutions out there is to simply use a flash drive and just encrypt it. Um, now, as I said, Tails is a very well respected operating system, a very well respected security operating system. It's basically Linux when you use it, it's a very basic Linux kind of system. Um, you can download it free of charge, uh, install it on your flash drive. Now. Going against this, this is very, very secure. A lot of people say it's one of the best ways to secure a flash drive or a, you know, a hard drive. Um, what I will say though is that it's not as user friendly. It's one of the, the downsides to this. Um, this happened the other night. I was updating my Safecoin wallet and the wallet, for whatever reason, it wouldn't sync and I was having problems with the installation. So what I wanted to do was I tried an older wallet.dat file, that wouldn't work, and what I needed to do was get my pass key, and I was trying to rescan it using the pass key, uh, the pass key which was here. But in order to do that, I can't just plug it into my computer. What I needed to do is I plug it into my laptop, and I needed to boot into this, I need to actually boot into the, the operating system, and then I need to get the passphrase. Now, it's not the hardest thing in the world. It will only take me, you know, 10 minutes or so to boot up and get everything copied over. But this is instant. And it's one of those things, it really is, um, it really is uh, a battle between convenience and security sometimes. Now, BitLocker is very well regarded as well. Um, you know, you can see with 128-bit or 250-bit key encryption. But I have seen a few articles saying that, you know, BitLocker is a fantastic solution, but if someone was, you know, persevering, if, if there was a hacker there, they could maybe get into it. Now, that is doomsday worst case scenario. Um, I think that BitLocker, from what I've read, is super, super secure. There are things that are maybe a little bit better from an encryption point of view, but, you know, it, I still think BitLocker is probably better than some solutions like this, which can be hacked and things like that. Um, well, not hacked, but you, you do occasionally see security holes popping up and then Ledger update the software. Um, but from an encryption point of view, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert on this, but for me, whilst uh, Tails, this is what this one's Tails, whilst Tails is perhaps a little bit more secure, this is more user-friendly. And I've got another flash drive here, and I'll show you exactly how this works if I can get this open. Um, and it really is, I think this is a big thing uh, today. Because when someone else left a comment about the ledger when I was talking about it and said that, yeah, it's a great solution, but if you're doing a lot of trades and all that, it's a pain to use. And now this is something I'm going to explore. Um, but what I want to do is now plug this in. So I've plugged in the USB drive now. And if I load up this, here we go. You should be able to see here. Now there's the comment I was talking about there. Well, I use BitLocker because zero more secure. Um, now, Sandus actually comes with its own little security system in that, you know, built in. You can use their software if you want. But I'm going to delete that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is just turn on 
BitLocker, and you can see here, turn on BitLocker. Um, and then it secures the drive, and then it just asks you for a passphrase. So, you know, I can put in a passphrase here. That's all there is to it. And um, and then I have to print the recovery key and all. But that's all it is. And then when you want to, when you want to actually access your drive, you just you have to enter your passcode. That's all there is to it. It's very very simple. Um, this is what you know the one that I've got just now. Very very simple. So yeah, when I'm talking about Tails versus uh, BitLocker, for me it's more an issue of convenience versus you know perhaps slightly more security uh and after you, you know what happened the other night and i wanted to get my pass phrase quickly and i had to spend you know 10 minutes loading up my laptop booting changing the boot order um with my usb drive you know changing it to booting from this usb drive it's not hard it's not difficult but you know if you're trying to get something resolved and it's 10 minutes compared to seconds with a flash drive I'd probably lean more towards just using BitLocker. As I said, BitLocker is only available to those who have Windows Pro, but it's a very, very good solution. Um, and it's probably the one that I would use rather than using Tails, which, you know, if you want more security, maybe this is the one you would go for. Now, the point of this video isn't to say which one is better per se, just that my opinion of it is that I'm going for convenience. I do realize sometimes, you know, when you're buying these kind of security solutions, um, you have to give up some convenience because you're entering passphrases and key phrases and, you know, you're locking everything up. And from a user-friendly point of view, that does slow things down. But there's a kind of happy medium, I think. Make sure you encrypt your your wallet phrases and your, and your flash drives. Make sure you've got something stored in a very safe place, even if you want to do a paper wallet and put it into a safe. But don't take any risks with your money. Make sure you've always got backups. For me, the reason I've got two of these drives is because one's going to be an absolute uh, duplicate of the other. So if one didn't work, if one got lost, I've still got the other one. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I just wanted to touch upon this um, and the different options that are out there. This was Tails. This was BitLocker. Both are very good, but for quickness, I'm leaning more towards BitLocker now. Thanks for watching, guys. If you know of any other solutions out there that you think others would uh, like for encrypting flash drives, for storing wallet files and, and, and you know, passphrases and, th uh, passphrases and things like that, please do let me know in the comment area below. Until next time, take care.